Hi there, my name is Melinda Shamanic and I live in Auckland, New Zealand and I write books for children. Over the years I've written a lot of short stories uh, for children aged 7 to 12 years and I finally put them all together in one beautiful book, Time Machine and Other Stories. This one's called The Monster Under My Bed. There's something under my bed. I mean, apart from the usual stuff, dirty clothes, the armless action man, plates with toast crumbs and reject food from my lunchbox. A while back as I walked into my bedroom one night, I heard a dry rustling noise like chippy packets being opened in the dark at the movies. Another time out of the corner of my eye, I thought I saw something disappear beneath my bed. Then, a couple of weeks ago, I saw one of my gloves flop out from under there. When I bent down to look, the glove was sitting next to a bunch of other stuff I'd shoved under my bed. There was no way it had moved by itself. I must admit right then, I felt a bit nervous. And the other night, I got the biggest shock of my life. As I was climbing between the sheets, this weird misshapen head stuck out from under my bed and said, Boom! I jumped a mile and hid under the blankets. Hello, I called. Sorry. I peered out and it smiled, a banana peel smile at me. It emerged a little further. Its body was sort of constructed around Dad's old tennis racket. Bits and pieces of the junk under my bed were stuck in the strings or tangled round the handle. By the time I recovered from the shock, it was gone. Leaving my bedside light on, I straightened my sheets, shut my eyes tightly and tried to sleep. Maybe I was already asleep and it was only some nasty dream. In the morning, all was quiet. I jumped out of bed, launching myself as far into the middle of my room as I could so the creature couldn't grab me. I didn't go near it again as I got ready for school. But that night, as I leapt into my bed from over by my bedroom door, I heard sobbing coming from beneath me. Taking a deep breath, I got up, crouched down and looked. A pair of bike shorts and an ugly mustard skivvy that I'd tried to hide from Mum so I never ever had to wear it again were tangled round the racket. My beanie perched atop a rounded mound of mouldy food with prune eyes and the banana peel mouth I'd seen last night. It curved into a wide grin as it saw me. I sprang back. Hello, the banana peel said. And here you can see the monster emerging from under the bed with its banana peel mouth and its prune eyes. I've really enjoyed reading to you. I hope I get the chance to do it again soon.